Hello my friends, if you like my work please remember to click thumb up, subscribe to my channel or hit the notification bell to be informed about new videos. I'd just like to say thank you to all my patrons, please join them if you can, the link is in the description below. Today I'm starting another project slightly reducing the pile of models to do. Of course there is also an additional open the box episode where you can see exactly what's included in the set. My plan is to build the vehicle straight from the factory with no additional tools just like the Russians released the T-34 straight from the production line to the front in Stalingrad. At the beginning I cut out all of the necessary parts from the frames and prepared them for cleaning and assembling the individual elements. Of course, if you are not sure that you will make a mistake, it's better not to do it, but building next Panther, I could afford it. Assembling models from Tacom is really easy. All components fit very well and I didn't notice any problems during construction. You have to remember about the periscopes to glue them before the whole hull is assembled. The model will be placed on the base with uneven terrain, so the movable suspension is absolutely necessary to easily adjust the arrangement of the wheels and trucks. Despite appearances, this is quite easy to do. If the construction of the model doesn't provide for the use of bars, we have to do some work ourselves. We drill holes in the suspension arms. Just a few millimeters are enough to paste a piece of wire into these holes. At the elements of the idler wheels bar we can cut off the locking pin to be able to adjust the tension of the trucks. We remove the locking pins almost all but we leave the first and last because they will hold the entire suspension. If we remove them the whole model will settle on the hull. The wire that I use to glue into the opts is quite soft. I always collect it from my children's toys when we unpack them from the box. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's perfect for this purpose. Note that I don't even align it too much thanks to which it sticks more firmly in the canal. I wrapped the ends and additionally bent them so that the swing arm doesn't fall out but only moves up and down. After cleaning the wheels we can mount them on the model. It's worth using a bit of blue tag because most likely they will fall off the arms unglued, which is very annoying for me when I have to collect the wheels from the table with every movement of the model. In this way we have a ready-made movable suspension. What I have always liked about the Tacom models is very good fitting of the hull elements and as a result the whole assembly takes several minutes. A few drops of glue do the job and it's just worth remembering not to apply too much of it because it's easy to leave fingerprints if anything leaks beyond the place where it should stay. That's why I use metal tools to press the elements. I decided to additionally cover the whole sides, front and back with acrylic putty. Firstly to plug the small holes provided for mounting tools and secondly to make a nice looking texture. Of course it will be a bit rescaled, overscaled, but I am turning a blind eye to it. As you can see the method is very simple and doesn't require large expenditures of materials and resources. Putty, cotton bud, accelerator and sandpaper are all we need to make this effect.
Apart from that, I cut additional straps for mounting the fenders and corrected the cutting marks of the armor plates. This is another overscaled effect, but I found it looks better to me when it's done than if it's not there. I softened the slightly incised edges with a thin plastic glue and it's ready. While still working on the hull, I added meshes for the fan grills. Of course, the producer adds them as a photo etched part, which is now standard in models. I always additionally bend them with a rounded tool and make some small damages, which looks very interesting. Finally, so that the hull is almost ready, I am putting on quick tracks that I built earlier for the open the box presentation. You can find the link in the description of this video. Today I have a little present. If you want to take part in the game and if you want a chance to win, just subscribe my channel, like this video and write a comment called Demons PL. As always, I will inform the lucky winner on Monday. Good luck! Building the turret was as fun as building the hull. Preparing the weapons was the most time-consuming. I decided to replace the original set of bars from the model with a larger caliber, which in my opinion is visually more attractive. The set of bars from the RB model for the E50 looks great and even if it's not in accordance with the documentation of the Flag Panther project, it's of secondary importance to me. The visual effect is the most important thing for me at this point. At the beginning I mentioned the possibility of supporting me on Patreon, but now I would like to thank all my current patrons. You are great guys. It would be great if you joined this group. Check which level will be the best for you. Your support is highly appreciated and helps me do what I do here at Codemons PL. Thanks to this I will try to give you some interesting content to keep you informed and entertained. Thank you very much. Ok, let's back to the model. I also added some wire elements or rather replaced the plastic with wire which always looks better. It doesn't take more time and it's more reliable and accurate. Finally, a small tip on how to put on a towing shackle without cutting the elements. Just slightly bend the plastic and in a few seconds everything is in place. Antennas for German vehicles released on the market by Master Model are of the highest quality, which is a certainty in the products of this company. Yes, it's an advert, but not because Master paid me for it, but I think these products are worth advertising. You can check here how perfect the individual elements of this set look. What can I say? Metal and 3D prints do a great job. If you are familiar with my channel, you probably know that I use ropes from Eureka XXL as standard for all my models. As in the case of Master, it's the highest quality that deserves attention. The ropes added to the models are in my opinion not suitable for use, so the Eureka XXL products are ideal for replacing them. Resin tips don't require much work and cleaning them takes a few minutes. 
The wire bends exactly as we need, so I don't see any other options to use. I definitely recommend both, the antennas shown earlier and the towing cables. I left the welds for the end because they are missing here and there. I prepared a small piece of green stuff to make thin sausages. After applying them to the model I molded them with a special sophisticated tool made of titanium steel set on a thousand year old sequoia splinter and I used water brought from a mountain source in the Himalayas to moisten it. I'm kidding of course. A piece of molded beer canteen mounted on a toothpick and further secured in an old hobby knife handle is a perfect tool for forming a C shape. A bit of water, tap water, will prevent the mass from detaching from the surface of the model. After 15 hours of work the effect is as you can see here. And I forgot to mention that I also added the figures of the driver and commander from Paper Panzer Production. I think they fit very well. In the next episode I will show you my work on painting a model that I plan to do in an interesting camo. Oxide primer red shade with some light coral blocks and finished with some different details coloring. It seems interesting to me and I hope it will be. That's all for today, see you next time, cheers!